Hi there, I'm Val, and we're back with more SpongeBob SquarePants DLC for Power Wash Simulator. We're on to the Mermelayer, and according to achievements, I believe this is the last D uh, level for the DLC. Um, welcome, friend. Welcome to the elusive prison of Thangor. No, way. I mean the Mermelayer. I live here, don't I? And guess what? That dirty, dirty bubble strike again, this time within our very walls. Don't ask me how, but he escaped, ran out, dirty up the place, the quickest night, sneaking back to his impenetrable hold from what escape is impossible. And look what he sent to the place. He made the whole nine yards look like it's festering nest in negligence. And for what? Revenge? I'd like to see him try. Do something, kid, before we descend into a pit of self-loathing and come in bikini bottom spirals out of control. Crime in bikini bottom spirals spirals out of control and don't forget the nooks and crannies climb flourishes where angel fest feared dredge. Now, I'm assuming this is going to be the hardest one yet. It's going to be probably the biggest level. Um, honestly, not too bad. However, there is two achievements here. One for completing the level. And another for an infamous meme. I am trying to find it organically but I am struggling. So I think we will try and find it. The achievement is, quote, it's not my wallet. And it is Patrick's Thar's identity card first it up oh, here it goes 25 cents we're gonna highlight it okay you guys ready Uh, this looks like the work of the dirty bubble to me. And there we go. It's Bikini Bottoms driver's identification. This is not a driver's license. Expires 12, 12 14.03. Patrick Star, 120 con streak bikini bottom. Patrick Star. Is this your wallet? Well, yes. Then this must be your card. That makes sense. So then take it. Not my wallet. They put so much thought into this. I love it. I guess we'll just start with a section and work there. I do kind of hope that down the line we do get more fun DLC like this. They did say Future Lab that they want to do more DLC for the game to where they can go to fun places like this and all of that. But they said that they don't know if it will always be free like the Final Fantasy Midgar one or the uh, Tomb Raider edition and, and no offense this is gonna take me maybe about an hour hour and a half to clean so all together it will be like five hours six hours for eight dollars but the joy of seeing Spongebob come to life and you're just like imagine a Splatoon DLC where you have to go around and clean up the arenas or something like go clean up after a Mario party level. I, I can honestly see them doing some really cool things and you're dang straight. If they do a Nintendo DLC only for the Nintendo switch, I'm buying the game on the switch just to play the DLC. <laughs> 
Um, apparently I'm, cl I'm cleaning an electric device body. Very, such description, such wow. But like, all in all, like, it, it's a pretty paced out DLC. You got th one, you got three big levels, and then you got two vehicles. So it, it's really not bad. And you have to remember that I'm, I'm not pacing myself. This is all getting done day one of the DLC. So that that's not only it's I would have spread it out more, but uh, I go on vacation literally tomorrow. So I'm like, I, I, I want to get the DLC done. The motivation is real. Oh, this whole thing's the body. All right. Like I packed, I got all, I got all ready for my trip yesterday. There's a couple things, last minute things that I would have to, uh, I think the ladder might be better now that I'm on it. There's a couple things that I have to pack, but there's just stuff that like the day of the like cold drink stuff I'm going to be drinking down on the trip and stuff like that that is just yeah I, you you can't just pack that the night before but i am just i'm enjoying this dlc so much and i'm gonna try I, and I don't know how well it's going to go, but I'm going to try and get some actual stuff from my trip to show you guys when I get back. Um, I'm not getting that underneath. All right. I'm gonna pause here for one second. All right, well, it's been um, about 40% since I went and we finished this and then I went to the next item and then it was a pillar. And then I was like, okay, let me get done with the pillar. It, it's nothing major. It's just a lot of up and downs. And then I'm like, okay, now what? I'm like, okay, there's another pillar. So then I was like, okay, two pillars, this. Then I turn. Now there's three pillars. Okay. Still. No, but there's a fourth pillar. I spent minutes just cleaning pillars. I know it's not the update you guys want, but it was 40% of the level. Was pillars. So, I don't know what to say with that. Um, on something tells me I need to. There we go. Okay, there we go. I got the light bulb. All right. So, now with that done. I think I'm going to go around. I'm going to get the wall stuff done. We all know. We all know who's in here. Anyway, I'm going to get like the anchor done, the life buoy done. Anything attached to the wall. I'm going to start working on. Now, I do have a question of what's behind. Okay. We're definitely cleaning this here. Because it's Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. I approve. Then this is the wall. 
of superhero super gadgetry. Oh, it's all of their uh, tools. Uh, which super acquaintance would I be? Super good question, Patrick. They're talking about the uh, super uh, the the league of uh, super acquaintances, which I'm pretty sure are in those tools. Yeah, the quick sir from the one episode. There seems to be a quite amount of rust on here. And I do have extra soap. So maybe I'll just, what is this, metal? Just give it a quick hose down real quick. Let's see. What? Oh my God, it's the M for Wumbo. Wumbo? You meant mumbo. That is off. I understand that. Needless to say, I think this one's going to take us a little extra time to do just because this one has a lot of nook and crannies. But it's pretty neat how much level of detail they put into this. Like, this isn't some just, oh, let's just get a quick DLC out and, and that's it. And I don't know if because the other DLCs, I just, I haven't played those games. I haven't played 7 or 7 Remake. I never really played a Tomb Raider game. So it's been a lot of, I just don't understand the references. Like, the, uh... Walkie talkies from the he's standing over there menacingly episode. I'm trying to avoid having to hit it with the uh ultra fine, but I think we're just getting to that point where it needs to. Why do I think I need to get the ladder? Hold on. Because we need the ladder. I'm trying to get up here so I can uh, clean this side. East? I thought you meant weast. All right, I think that's done. Just a normal anchor on a wall. That needs to be a blast from all angles. Including that we now need to bring. I love Power Wash Simulator. I do. But at the same time. Here's a lawn ornament that you now must try and clean from all angles going on the ladder eight different times. Mm. 
There we go. Let me guess. Yep, we're gonna have to do the top of the buoy as well. Nothing, nothing will stop. For I am power washing man. I will clean the dirt off of anything and everything that you may wish. All right. And can you please just go up? But do you still need to clean? Oh. Yep. Put that there. There we go. I think that's everything. Okay, we still got this attached to the wall. So I'm going to do this and start the next thing and we'll see you in a moment. Do, 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 do. Alrighty, after some more time, we have finished all the wall decor. Uh, the ladder's still over there. And we finished the super acquaintance table and chairs. In addition, the orb of confusion, which you can turn on. However, it doesn't seem to do anything. But it is there and it is toggleable, which is pretty dang neat. Now we have a prison chamber, the costume glass, the hand of justice machine, the computer, and the chemistry bench. I think I'm going to do the computer and the chemistry bench next and save the back of the room for last. So I'm going to hop to it. I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. This is a really good DLC. Rusts, my favorite thing in the world. Alrighty. I can already tell this is going to be pretty dang cool. Alrighty, well, uh, we have done the chemistry table, which took roughly five, ten minutes to do, and we spent 50 minutes cl cleaning this. This was pretty much a pain because this whole layer in between it needed to be cleaned up and down than the top of the TV. But I love the glitchy, but we can switch the monitor on for Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. There's a lot of little hints to everything to the show, and I greatly appreciate it. I still need to do the ceiling shoot, yes. But I figured while we're here, we might as well clean the tops of the um pause real quick so we could see an arguably another homage to the show before we do the shoe and we do this we got the quick start outfit do you want to see me run to the bolt the rock and back you want to see me do it again and last but not least miss appear So we're going to clean this up, we're going to do the shoot, and then uh, we'll be back. Trying to not make this a four hour long video. And then, and then we'll do the Hand of Justice. Then we'll see what's inside the uh, prison chamber. Alrighty, so we have finished the... Uh, Costume display and the hand of justice machine, which I'm assuming just slaps people. But alas, it is time to do the last area of this, and it is the prison chamber. Now, I believe it's going to be the dirty bubble. Because, I mean, 
it fits with the story. Part of me was kind of hoping that it would have been a uh, uh, evil man ray a little bit. But alas, it's time for us to uh, finish up this level and say goodbye to SpongeBob SquarePants DLC. I still have some metal cleaner left. Not a lot, but hopefully it will help with the rust. Alright, and we might as well use the glass cleaner that we have. Um, we got pl mm, that is it of soap. Let's put on the short with the yellow and let's start cleaning. All in all, the DLC was uh, really fun. I enjoyed myself a lot. Though I will say part of me wishes that down the line we get more of this because it's nice to have something very unique to the game added. And I can appreciate that. Though I do miss my original power washer. This new one is pretty cool, but the trident just makes easy work of everything, especially rust. Which this has its fair share of. It's currently what I'm trying to clean now is trying to get the rust off. And then hopefully I can do the rest from either the ladder up top or Just in general. There we go. I will say the dirty bubble does look pretty cool at this angle. Yeah, I think either way we're going to have to go from uh, the top down. I was hoping to get this whole thing done and edited and be out at 830, but it took me a lot longer to get it done. This easily was probably about a three hour level. Just because of all of the nooks and crannies and just the size of it. Because each of these little things just needs to be scrubbed on each side. And why it doesn't seem like a lot, it is. 
it's like the walls of justice uh the 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 wall of superhero super gadgetry took me a while to do because you had to get them from all angles this wasn't too bad but getting in between these were pretty rough this had an down in and then you also had to get into little crevices such as in between these two so it was it, it wasn't perfect but it, it was fine i can't wait till we get the tablet of truth out Because that's going to show everything that I me uh, messed up. Oof. I'd say this needs to be cleaned. Frozen chamber, frozen tartar. Oh, like tartar sauce. Yeah. You know, all of a sudden, I've been working on this one for a while, and I've done all of the other DLCs today. I've been playing Power Wash Simulator since 1.30. I took a break to eat dinner, and that was like a half hour. And it's just like, nope, right back to it. And then I'm still not even done. I still have to uh, upload this. And then I have to upload stuff for when I'm away on vacation. So this way, if there's still stuff going up on YouTube. Just as a question, is there like an option to unfreeze him? Not, not yet. All right. It doesn't seem like we're missing a lot. Uh, five things, which with a list like this, isn't much. Can it's costume display elastic waistband. All right. I mean, I'm pressing the button. I don't see much dirt but it is what it is next up is miss appear okay next up is prison chamber bulbs All right, prison chamber cables. Did I miss this? I'm pretty shocked I missed that. All right. Next up is prison chamber joysticks. Okay. Here it is. All right. I love it when it's just like, oh, just spray lightly on it. Prison chamber lever. Oh, everything is literally the wall of a uh, good to now.
Balls of steel. Okay. Bubble wand of doom container. There we go. Mermaid man and barnacle boy unite the achievement and for this. Can I, can I, I, I can't, I can't free you dirty bubble. There's no secret there. All in all, it was a great DLC. Everything cleaned up very nice. I hope it shows you how much crouching I had to do. I love how for the last bit, it's just, you don't even see me. <laughs> Yay! Everything's back to normal. Bikini bottom. Sandy singing. Plankton's plotting. And Mermaid Maid's mobilizing. Mermaid Man is mobilizing. Who knows? When the dirty bubble service time, maybe he'll be he'll become a clean little bubble, rafting happily around the place. We can't thank you enough for helping us clean up our little mystery. Without you, we'd still be knee high in dirt and grime. Anyway, got a dash. We're throwing a surprise party for Squidward to say sorry for all the mess we made. We invited the whole town. Squidward's gonna love it. Goodbye, friends, and thanks again. And that is the DLC. It was really fun. The graphics were amazing. The storytelling was there. It was like a little small episode of SpongeBob in its way. I love how we're a fish instead of just our normal human person. I'm very glad I got to play this. So thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I have. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and thank you for watching.